Hi guys, welcome to Magellan Techies. In this video, I have demonstrated how you can upgrade Vayu Yuri Couplers from Android KitKat to Android version 7.1 Nougat. I have made the video in two parts. Part 1 video is an upgradation from KitKat to Lepa 5.1. And part 2 video is an upgradation from Lepa 5.1 to the latest version Nougat 7.1. I have given a part 2 link below in the description box. So here we start part 1. Come on, let's see. Hey guys, this mobile is YU Eureka Plus. Today I will show you how you can upgrade from Android version 4.4.4 KitKat to Android version 7.1.1 Nougat. Version 4.4.4 KitKat. To make it version 7 Eureka, it to make it version 5 first first i will install version 5 lollipop and then directly we will upgrade it to version 7.1.1 logat guys for that you required almost three files one is this cm12 and the other is this factory image file and the last one is the twrp image file all these three files is required to download it. I have given the link in this below video. You can download from that. Also, you required ADB driver, which is also given in the link below. Power of the phone. Guys, now plug in the USB cable of this mobile to the computer and be ready press this volume up key keep press keep press the volume up key and then plug in the usb cable into the usb port of the mobile keep press until you see the fast boot mode once this mobile is in fast boot mode you can start flashing the rom now go to your system device manager you can see see this android device uh, sorry other device android double click it give this driver from adb driver after providing driver to the mobile device you go to uh, extract this file cm12 and extract this file factory image and you need or uh, and rename this file to recovery yes i have extracted these files this is a folder which i can extract once you have extracted this factory image folder go to folder copy all the files from this folder copy all the files copy and then go back to the cm12 folder and paste it over here after pasting go to this file twrp302 tomato this file copy this file go to cm12 folder and then paste this file once you have pasted this file delete this file this is a file from the image which we have extracted you say delete delete this file and then rename this file as recovery say rename rename it to recovery r e c o v e r y recovery that's it once you have removed this file to recovery and you are done now that you already have put your phone into a fast boot mode see this fast boot mode you are ready for flashing the rom into this mobile device for flashing the ram now see this flash all you just need to run flash all press the shift key on the keyboard and click right click it and go to command prompt from here. this will open up a dos 
from window from the same folder. In this window, type flash hyphen all and press enter. As you can see, this is asking for press volume up key to confirm. Now go to your mobile and press the volume up key. See now, just press the volume up key over here, volume up key, volume up. Now you can see all the files are here it is. Once you press the volume up key in the mobile device, all the files will start downloading into the mobile. Flashing recovery, flashing system partition, sending fast system file. So in this way this will flash entire OS developer 5.1.1 into the Eureka Plus. And soon within 15 minutes of work you will get an entire new OS. So this is asking for relocking bootloader. Press up key to confirm, press down key to cancel. Just don't do anything. This will automatically come up from this. Don't do anything right now. See this. This has been over now. Now this will automatically reboot, reboot the mobile. Go into Sanogen mod OS. See how quickly we have upgraded this device into Lollipop Sanogen mod. It takes some time with the first boot. First boot will take almost 2 to 3 minutes, a maximum 5 6 minutes also. Meanwhile, I pause the video. Now I see this. This has been started. It is optimizing some apps. Almost 125 apps are uh, about to optimize, and this will take more 2 3 minutes. Meanwhile, I have paused the video and we continue once this get over. Almost finished now. 125 of 125 apps has been optimized. Starting apps, uploading contact database, finishing boot. Soon we'll gonna witness CM12 from 4.4 KitKat. As you can see, this is started Sanogen OS. Just by detecting the location of the device, it has been selected Hindi as my local language, which I don't want to use it. I will use it English India as my primary device, primary language of the OS. Next. I just skip it right now. Keep anyway. Well, I say right next without selecting yes. I say next. Start. So this is the final. Yeah. So the OS is ready. See about. See this. Yulega Wayo five five one zero and Sanogen OS Android version five point one point one Lollipop. So within a fraction of minutes, I mean just a fifteen to twenty minutes, five point one point one from four point four point four storage and this is almost 12.32 I mean 12.3 GB in the earlier version 4.4 we have got 12.8 GB in this we have got 12.3 GB still this is very good as because normally out of 16 GB you get 9 GB 10 GB only see this is almost free 1.5 1. 1.1 GB is free and uh, system is using a 400 MB RAM 168 MB RAM is F using so almost 7, 788 MB RAM is used and 1.1 GB RAM is already free in this device.
next step is to upgrade it directly to 7.1.1 that is resolution rom that's all with this video guys hope you like my video please like it subscribe it and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you guys so this was the part 1 video for part 2 video click on the given link to see the upgradation from lollipop to nogat 7.1 guys hope you like this video if you like then please press thumbs up and stay tuned to my channel tech is if you have not subscribed yet then please subscribe to my channel thank you